So this is going to be a quick introduction into a little tip or trick, I guess you could say, for TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim application. And this is for trading options. This is a little trick I use to get faster executions, to get better entries, and for me to really mess around with my orders to get the best possible fill price. Because I know a lot of people use a different way to enter, or, uh, to buy or sell um, their option contracts. But the way I do it is just, in my opinion, much cleaner. And I feel like I have more control of the price that I'm entering my option in without flipping back and forth between screens and screens. Um, so the normal way people would trade an option to buy or sell an option on Thinkorswim is you go to the trade tab up top, you hit trade, you click whatever option contract you want to buy, you click that. Now you're going to adjust the quantity and you're going to adjust the price, right? Now it's going to be confusing because you're not going to know the price, you're not going to know the bid versus the ask right away unless you look at this contract and you can see the bid and the ask and you have it defaulted to look at that, right? So now you're going to have to mess around with the limit price if you want to set a specific price or better that you're going to get filled at. If you're going to do a market order then this really doesn't apply. This is really for limit orders only because then you could finagle and try to get a best possible fill price not something too high to the ask if you're longing something and not something that you're not going to be comfortable paying <clears throat> because with this method you're going to have to hit confirm and send you're going to have to go back to your charts and you're going to have to look at all your charts then if you want to close out the position you're going to have to go back here you know come here and sell your and close out your position the way i trade is that i go right into active trader now a lot of people don't understand what active trader is there's two different ways that you can use active trader the first way is on the side of the chart there's an active trader button right here you have trade time and sales and the third one is active trader when you hit that you're gonna get a screen that looks somewhat like this I have time and sales and the level two up there but when you hit active trader you're gonna get a screen that looks like this now this is I have an option in here so this is not gonna look like this when you load a default for you guys but I have an Apple 295 strike call into this loaded into active trader so if I want to buy and sell something all I have to do is put the limit price that I want to buy it at and then my order is going to go through autos on auto send automatically without coming through no confirmation screen without flipping back and forth between charts and the trade tab when you flip back and forth you're missing out on a couple seconds that you could be looking at something else or looking at processing other information. So the way I like to trade is that I have everything on one screen and one screen only. So on Active Trader, I keep the time and sales because I want to see the prints coming through of those option contracts that I have selected. And then I have the level two because I want to see the bid and ask right in front of me without flipping back and forth like I mentioned. So, I'm going to go on demand and I'm going to show you what Active Trader looks like in real li real time data. Now the, the as the time I'm recording this video, the market's closed, so you're not going to see any quotes coming through, but we're going to go on demand. So, also really fast, the way I have this set up, now I can leave this set up if you guys want to drop a like or post this in the comments, I can put this setup in the description for you guys or I could just email it to you guys and that you that way you guys can copy this workspace and have it for your own and apply it to your own think or swim just leave a comment if you if that's something you guys want and I have no problem sending you this workspace but before we go into any more detail I'm just gonna explain this workspace really fast now I have everything linked so I have Apple on a one minute chart up my top left I have Apple on a five minute chart on my top bottom left and then I have Apple without pre-market data with a 15 minute time frame on my bottom right now these three charts are linked and what links do in thinkorswim is that you can link charts so if I was to change the symbol all three charts would change because I have them all linked to symbol number one which is the red symbol now you have all different you have one through nine I just use number one and whatever I change number ones to all those charts are going to change as well. Now on the left I have the E-mini, I have the S&P future, 
That way when I'm trading these stocks, like I said, I have everything visually on one screen. I don't have to move my eyes between multiple monitors or I don't have to change tabs. So I have the S&P, I have whatever stock I'm looking at on three different time frames, and then I also have an active trader set up with time and sales and level two for the option contract that I'm trading. So we're on on demand right now, so we're back on December 23rd at 9.33 in the morning. This is just a random time. So for some reason, I want to buy Apple calls, right? This happened in the past, so I obviously knows what ha I know what happened. Um, this is how I also back test and test out different strategies. But I want to hop in Apple calls right here. For some reason, I think they have good news, and the sentiment is very bullish. The market maybe I think is going to be bullish. Whatever. This is just all hypothetically speaking, like we're actually actually trading live in the market at 9:33. So I want to purchase Apple calls. What I would normally do is I'm going to go to trade, right? I'm going to go here. I would normally go here, adjust my quantity, adjust my limit price because maybe the spreads are 20 cents or 30 cents and I don't want to pay a I don't want to lose on that slippage. So, in this case the sensor the spreads are 2 cents, so it's not going to hurt the market order. But let's just say for instance the spreads are 20, 30 cents and we want to set a price that we are comfortable paying at or greater than that, right? So what we normally do is we hit this, go to confirm and send, hit send, right? And now our limit order is sitting out there. If we don't get filled and we're back at the charts, we're going to have to come back to trade, cancel that order, and redo it. But the way I like trading and the way I use this active trader and this method is I take whatever option contract I want to trade, I right-click it, I go to copy. Now I copy this in my quote section and I hit enter. So now I have my Apple 282 and a half strike call and the last price was 148. Now maybe I want to trade further out of the money. All I have to do is hit copy, put Apple to whatever the strike is, 287 and a half and I'll copy it into my quotes. Now notice my quotes are linked to symbol number nine. So if we were to go back to our charts, if I click on any of these options, look what's going to happen to this. It's going to change. This now changed to Apple's 282 and a half strikes. If I were to change this, look what's going to happen. It's going to go to the 287 and a half strikes. Now everything changed, including the data. So, also what is important here is when we are ready to make our trade, when we're ready to long the option, when we're ready to buy it, <clears throat> we have to make sure auto send is on. Now this is tricky because auto send can be dangerous. When you click auto send, there's going to be no confirmation. And what I mean by no confirmation is that you're not going to see a confirmation screen like this. Instead, it's just going to send that order and if it's going to fill you, it's going to fill you right away without any confirmation or any notice. I mean, you're going to see a notice. You'll know when you get filled, when your position is whatever amount of contracts you ordered and you'll see a um, alert come up in the top left of the screen. But if we want no confirmation, make sure auto send is on. And like I said, that can be dangerous. And then also you want to fix the quantity of contracts that you're going to buy. You're going to buy 15, you're going to buy 10, whatever it is, you fix the quantity. Now you can minimize this and you could have the option ready to go. So I'm going to hit play. I'm going to go back to the 282 and a half calls and watch what I do here. Let me fix this price. It's a little stretched out. So now I see the prices down the middle. The ask is that okay so this is a little weird because we're back on on demand and the data when you're on demand can be a little messed up uh, for some reason I'm not sure why the bid is higher than the ask uh, you know what let's fast forward maybe a minute or two um, so when you're on demand the data sometimes gets a little skewed um, but when you're on real-time data it's gonna be normal it doesn't usually look like this um, so if we want to get filled at Whatever price we're looking at, all we have to do is put our buy limit order on whatever price we're comfortable paying. So in this case, I'm going to do 160. And look, I get filled automatically. So now I'm in 15 contracts, as you can see by your net position. Right? And you can see here on the active trader, it says 160. And in that 160, we have those little arrows. So I know I'm in 15 contracts by up here net position at 160. Now I wish, really wish the bid and the ask wasn't skewed like this so you can really see how it would look like with real time data. But in this case, let's fast forward 10 minutes and we're in 10 minutes, let's say the stock rallied 
almost a dollar, I'm going to look to sell my 15 contracts. So I'm going to look at S&P, see the S&P bouncing, I got my 5 minute chart, looks bullish, my 15 minute chart looks bullish, my 1 minute chart looks bullish, but just for illustration purposes, I'm going to sell my 15 contracts. So if we go all the way down on Active Trader, you'll see my price that I got filled at was 160 all the way down here, right? The time and sales are coming in at 208, so I know the stock's around 208. I really wish this ask wasn't skewed like this, but for this purpose, I know the option contracts are around 206, 202, around that area. So for me to sell, all I would have to do is go to the ask on the active trader and go to a price that I'm comfortable to sell between the bid and the ask. Now, all I have to do is hit that. And now look, my order is now at 15 at 203, as you could see it on the stock. And then look, you could also see it on the level two. You could see it on the ask because I put my limit order to sell 15 contracts on the ask. Now, if you wanted to cancel this position, all you have to do is click the X on the chart or the X on the active trader and then just fix your order to a certain price that you're going to get filled at, maybe below the ask. So I'm going to put my 15 shares at 208 and boom, I get filled right away because that's pretty much where the bid price is at. And when I'm selling, I'm going to get filled at the bid. It's basically like a market order. And that's how I use active trader. I get the prints coming in. I get the level two over here telling me the bid and the ask and if I want to get in and out it's a very fast quick you know seamless, seamlessly execution it was there was no delay I didn't have to go back and forth and it just in my opinion it's much cleaner and I've seen my order my entry prices um, at a much greater price than I normally would get at without using this method and with going back and forth like this so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like, comment. Please also subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow this channel. I'm trying to help out all of you guys because I have a lot of messages on my Instagram. Um, so if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that in the description. And like I said, if you guys want this workspace, so you can copy it and use this exactly. Just comment and I'll link it down below. Enjoy, guys.